see what we have. Project No Rice. I hope you guys saw the teaser. Um, anyways, we're going to do a uh, half radiator, fan, oil cooler. It's going to be fun. And uh, we got all this stuff at Mishimoto because they make quality parts. So check them out. I'm going to show you all the part numbers. So if you have the same car, you could just get all the same stuff. Here we have the radiator and the fan. Got some hardware, some stri weather stripping for the fan to the radiator. And here's the part number for the radiator. We got the X-Line version, which is their beefiest version and should take out the most heat. Here's the part number for the fan shroud. In order to do any of this work, we're obviously going to have to take out the old radiator, which means draining it. It's all drained. Now we're going to take off the radiator hoses. Disconnect all the power plugs going to the fans and anything else in that area that's attached to your radiator. Remove the hardware that's holding the AC and all the fans and the mounts on each side. In case you're wondering where the drain is, it's on the bottom by the radiator hose. Holy shit, look at this. It's like three radiators in one. Right now we're using the single factory mount on the passenger side bottom. And the AC lines are in the way for the hose. So, we're going to do some stuff. Move the AC lines underneath this bracket. That'll shift the whole line set down and give us the room we need down below and also take this bracket over here that bracket off so that the lines can get pushed down for the weather stripping on the new radiator put one piece on the bottom one piece on the top on the fan shroud we went all the way around this corner and then I put it on the edge here so this is what it looks like all put together Got weather stripping there, sealing the bottom, weather stripping, sealing the top. Before you do any kind of welding on your car, go ahead and unplug both terminals on your battery. So we took off some brackets. Now we can move these independently and bend the, I already bent this one down now where it's below the radiator mount. So that'll be out of the way. This one is very movable gonna have to put the radiator in first and then bend this and secure it here are the three brackets we removed and we won't be needing these this is how much room there is if we use the factory mounting hole which is uh, this isn't good considering we're putting a turbo and that leaves two inches less room on that side so we're gonna have to do some custom stuff so we moved it all the way to the left flush. That gave us a bunch more room over here where now this is on the edge of this hose. So we can push the hose over because the turbo kit setup we have, we're trying to keep the AC and the power steering. So we have a top mount, Sheeply uh, V-band manifold, and a Garrett GTX 2867, which you won't see till the next video, but anyways. So we're going to do that. So we're going to have to move the bottom mounts. Alrighty, check this out. There's four tack welds that hold these brackets on. So I just drill them out. That way we can reuse these mounts and just shift it over wherever the hell we want. Alright, look at this. we got the factory bushings. Right? The factory brackets. Now i got to take my sanding disc wheel, get all the paint off. And then uh, I'm going to take the fan off so that we can um, tape all this to the radiator. And then one of us will go under the car, mark with Sharpie on the body where it's going to go. Then i got to get the paint off the body. Then we got to remark it because I'm going to obviously probably get rid of the Sharpie when I clean the paint off. Remark it, line it up, tack weld it, and then... Uh, pull the radiator out and finalize the welding 
of these to the body. So that's how far over it moved. You can see the original four drill holes and the sharpie is the outside of the bracket. Same thing over there. Well, over there it was way on the end. Now it's just right there from there to the top of the hump on that one. Oh shit, look at this sexy fitment. So anyways, I'm going to pull this out now and show you my hideous welds. Um, we had to grind them a little. Setting up the welder was a pain in the butt. So uh, Next time, I need to use gas along with the welder to help. Uh, but for the most part, this thing looks good. So here's the gap between the headlight level deal. And uh, we're going to get some weather stripping to put in here so that uh, it doesn't metal, we don't have metal on metal, you know, scratching or whatever. Alright, so we're going to pull it out so you can see how it's mounted. Boom, factory mounts. Nice, huh? We're going to paint it all up now because there's a lot of bare metal down there. And uh, we're going to get some weather stripping and uh, pretty much get the uh, radiator mounted for good. Uh, we do have to make a little, I'm going to use a factory grommet on top and then I'm going to make a bracket that goes to that bolt with the condenser. Alright, so we have some steel over there but I made this out of cardboard first. And so it's going to go like this, and it's going to fit under this bend here. That way, um, that way everything just looks right. And I don't have to mess with the air, air conditioner at all. So this hole is going to be obviously bigger uh, because the rubber grommet, the factory one that goes around here, is going to be there. And it also, the grommet lifts it a little. So it should sit something like that. Make sure you safety check your grinder. My grinder, the locking part that you use to remove and change out the head, it uh, engaged while I was using it. And this fucker shrapneled out. So make sure uh, your tools are not just garbage, I guess. Dude, look at this bullshit. I'm dying. So I was grinding in this general area, right? And we were looking for the new piece, or the other half of the grinding tool. Look at this shit. I could be dead right now. Check this out. So this turned into that. It turned out good. We put some weather stripping here. So it's not hitting now. And it's nice and snug. And uh, yeah, overall it looks good. Now it's time to put the hoses on. We had to cut about an inch and a half off the top one and about two inches off the bottom one. And then we're going to just tighten the clamps back on. To get the stock overflow to fit for now, we're going to get one of those uh, cylindrical ones. Um, there's a bolt that holds this bracket. And then there's a little um, notch. You need to bend that little uh, finger up so that way you can rotate this like that. And rotate it out and it fits. Everything looks good. Time to bleed out the system, see if there's any leaks. My thought is that this setup is uh, super high quality. It looks really good. And... Uh, we're not sure though, we haven't decided, or he hasn't decided yet, whether he wants to powder coat the end tanks and the shroud to match the rest of the engine all black like this, and just black it all out. Um, but you'll see that on future videos. Well that's it guys for this video. Come back next Project No Race video for some more. We got a uh, Wallboro 255 to put in. We're ordering the intercooler, even though there's no turbo yet, we're going to mount the intercooler, get it all ready. Uh, we have an AEM boost gauge 
we have an AEM boost controller that's going to go to our AEM ECU. So hit subscribe, hit like, all that stuff, and I'll see you next time. Wrench on.